What's up, party people? There it is. My analytics. Oh, yeah. Look what? at those minutes. Yeah, they're going up. I'm trying. I'm trying to get people to pay attention to my uh, journey from $387 to the moon. <laughs> I actually noticed that on my last one, I got a hundred and on my last video was up to a hundred and four views. Yeah, but it jumped up like forty overnight. Right, the iOS token I think had some news. Dude, you should you should give everybody updates on how your three hundred eighty-seven dollars is doing, man. I did this morning. Oh, good. You know, I, was, right. I, I had it on there. I mean, I'm I'm down again. I'm down again because I got into everybody's this, down, man. I got into this like, XLM crap. Look, it's coming back. The last the last two hours, it's been coming back, but. Still, it's going to get over this moving average and go down again. It, it's not ever getting above its move, it, the, the 99 moving average. In fact, that doesn't even have one. No, I thought things were going to swing up, man, and they swing down. So, like, I made a couple pretty bad choices over the last couple of days. I want to talk so, about Well, on a 12-hour, on a half-day moving average, it is above. But still, it's below. It's so bad. So bad, everything's down. Tron at six cents now. Hit yeah, it. hit it. Oh my goodness, icons up like yeah, yeah, yeah. fifty cents this morning. Man. I mean, don't get me wrong, but that's like five percent or something. Right. More, more if you held since yesterday, it's still down though, right? If you would have bought it, it's high. Yeah, <laughs> yesterday you would, it's still down. There's Tron. There's Tron. Look, well, it's gonna go for it. Go go go, Tron! <laughs> nah, you know what? Like you know, I don't even worry. Thing. I don't look. I don't count my Tron in U.S. dollars. I count my Tron in number of Tron. I got a lot. I'm gonna keep it. Well, the last time it broke, it's it was above its moving average. Was oh, its five minute moving average was yesterday. Really? It was above that before. Hmm. Oh well. Can Tone Bays really predict the price of Bitcoin with technical analysis? I don't know who that is. Advertising. He's cool though. Yeah, I, don't I know, like I, don't I like Sunny Degree. He's cool. Cool. He does live streams and stuff too, but he actually he was uh, talking the other day that he learned like strictly from he got into it because of Trayvon James. Oh yeah. Had like he started watching his videos and learned. So I think you probably have to go all the way back because now he definitely just sits there and talks a lot. Well, what else we got going? What's on the market for us? cap at right now? Oh, it's gone up a billion. Yeah. Yeah. Five I guess you could, I didn't think it was going to drop past that. Fifth, five, if fifth Tron's million, going, if Tron's going up, the market cap's going up. Like it doesn't. Oh, <laughs> they, they don't. Do, right. They don't deviate for some reason. XLM deviates for some reason. The market cap goes up and XLM goes down. <laughs> That's what happened the last two days. It was like, oh no. Where's Ripple? It was at like a yeah, it was at a dollar fifteen this morning. All right, where's it's uh, still down? Where is uh, Iota? Hey, I woke up and uh, people trading. You having you my reference link? We're buying Iota, so that was. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how that how that works. Like, I got my Binance. I on. With Catherine's account, I got my Binance coins. I bought five Binance, and I got some of it. But And then I bought the rest Tron, and I didn't get any Tron. So I don't know what that's all about. I don't know why I'm not getting... I don't know if it's the only the first trade that they make. Yeah. Like, you just keep having people sign up with your Binance coin, or with your Binance link. And you're getting that little bit from their very first trade in. No, I got I got trades from the same people all the way back to you know when they first signed up. Then still, it's just usually such minute amounts, and now they dropped it from it from how much yeah. you actually get. It's just such minute amounts, but I can go in and look at each trade that was made. I can't I can't see who it was, but I get a uh, I get a grouping of this this entity did this many. Hmm. They don't give me like. Yeah, that says the, it says the email address, but with some start out. Right? Yeah, it's yeah, start out. See, right. So you can see it's the same. That's right. We looked. It is the same people. Yeah. That's right. I remember that now. <laughs> Boo. 
it dropped way out too. Like I said, I woke up this morning and it was down like 850 or something. It's gone up a decent amount. Everything's we everything's weird though, if you ask me. Like it keeps bouncing in between different prices, which is probably really good for swing trading. But I just got stuck in this and haven't been able to make any money back out of it. I'll leave that though in the last five minutes. Go go go! Make me my money back. Never. I need like a 15% climb to make, to make my money back. This is the one that I'm tr I'm tripping on. I, I was talking about it this morning in my video. The the Digidal where, but a DGX is worth one gram of gold. I don't know how many DGXs are in a Digidal. I don't know how that works. But somehow they got it up over, you know, 200 bucks for a Digidal. I don't even see it. It's way down here. Dogecoin's down. Everything's down. This one I heard people talking about. It's actually up. Let's see if they got a video. Decred. Autonomous digital currency. It's one of the privacy ones. Thirty-three point seven percent of it has been mined so far. I think that's something that I need to figure out how to do: is start cloud mining or something like that. I see a lot of people talking about it. I see a lot of people talking about how it's a scam too. Like at any time, the cloud mining place could just shut down and take your money. But I feel like that's anything on this. If I have a wallet somewhere and they just decide to shut down the wallet and take it, I don't know what the, I don't know how I would be able to get my stuff back. I mean, even though it's, I don't know how it works. So this doesn't have a video. Hybrid proof of work, proof of stake, consensus voting system. Oh, maybe it does. Today's digital currencies don't scale and suffer from destructive <coughs> hard forks. Hard oh, forks no. can result in loss of investor funds. They also damage investor confidence and can lead to attacks. <laughs> Decred was built to solve these problems. A high proof of work, proof of stake system ensures that no group can master the flow of transactions or make changes without input from the community. Decred is the only decentralized self-ruling currency where everyone has a real voice. Oh man, Decred I don't understand. I almost fell asleep here. Tools necessary These cartoon to ones did get me. About the technical yeah, dude. Of the currency. All it's really ridiculous with pipes and bells and whistles budget. and like this is and the internet with our scientists. They should at least impress me with look what our, graphics. Look what we're doing with our internet. Infrastructure owners and currency holders is the only way to build a robust currency. Now that dude's a worker and he built a pipe. Now what do you really think though, man? Thanks to our modular I, I get, I don't, that allows us to integrate new features. I think it's just disrupting the service. It sounds lame, but that sounds like dribble. <laughs> it's like whatever everybody says the same thing right might as well just be the exact some video for some other no one. I'm getting kind of worried about the more you investigate you know you can't put your you can't put recommendations on these shit coins you know what I'm saying like I was thinking that would be a be a good article to write five shills <laughs> that you should stay away from and so will Jimmy Buffett and so will Jimmy Buffett <laughs> five coins Buffett would buy Jimmy Buffett yeah <laughs> the cheeseburger in paradise coin. <laughs> there is actually a Trump coin. Oh man. I don't even want to look it up. Five what? coins Ivanka would buy. Yeah, five coins the first lady should buy. Yeah. And you could write about Trump coin. Picks included. Yeah, picks included. Early picks of <laughs> Ivanka included. <laughs> <laughs> like we'll make it decent while you're watching it man I, I'm telling you I, I, I want to go that direction further in the tabloid fake news crypto world I don't see anybody doing it and it's, I think it's ready the market's ready for some tabloid crypto I think it is I think it's really cool what you've been doing those 
tabloid crypto articles are really, really funny. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. I really like them. Thanks, man. Yeah, you can check them out on my Steam it. <laughs> on my blog and yours, too. Yeah. My PC Miracle, obviously. Let's see. What's my Steam it worth right now? 22.30. It's gone down. Steam must be going down. I don't know how... It seems you like get, it's exactly what it was at, wasn't it? The other day we did this, and I said, "Hey, you got twenty-two dollars." I had twenty-two eighty. Oh, okay. Well, well, you've been, but you've been giving away some money, right? Liking things. <laughs> Congratulations! You have what did it say? Some achievement. That's the achievement. You completed one. some achievement on Steam. It you've been rewarded. All right. Yeah. Man. I haven't got any achievements. You were in before me. I right? didn't. I don't know if I got that. I don't know if I got my, I definitely didn't get them in my <laughs> Binance thing, so must have not followed the destructions correctly. Cool. You got 15 followers, man. Yeah, I noticed that the more that you go around and say stuff and people realize that you're interested in crypto, they'll just follow you. Right. You know, so they're like, I think that's just a good idea, especially on Steam and it really helps branch out you know to get out and do things if you just if you read the article and make a comment leave a comment relay or a yeah content related comment in the bottom it people really, really like pictures man people yeah. really like pictures but photographers do real well on this and uh yes people that do videos too if you do animation people like that and little little clips just little clip if you can do a quick clip which is actually more work than you might think mm -hmm. it's probably still not worth what they get but people are getting you know a hundred dollars or more on there by putting stuff up here in Steam. I'm gonna log on here just in case if somebody's watching if they want to chat I can see it on my phone I think. Oh cool right on see upgrading technology as we go. But nobody's there so that's cool. Hi. But at any rate. You know I didn't mean to say at all when we were talking about shit coins that decred was a shit coin i really don't know I, but I, that video wasn't impressive that was all oh no like yeah but see even when it comes down to it like i i mean it might not be but that video was really <laughs> generic tell. and it's really bad tell, it started right? to be a tell we've seen too many now we've been done doing this only three or four times this crypto and coffee thing and and we see all these videos and we try to play them and a lot of them are lame. It's just lame to constantly hear about what is decentralization, you know? Yeah, it's like, like this whole thing is trying to... Like, the people looking at it in altcoins already kind of get it. Yeah. They're, they're not like, just buying Bitcoin, who's, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Who's sticking some cash. odd, you know, Binance low-volume coin yeah. without, like, already knowing what decentralization is? Like, mm -hmm. come on. It's almost like they're keeping it confusing. You know what I mean? Like, they make it confusing for people that don't know. Because it's still not good enough to help people understand. Zero coin protocol. People were talking about this one, the PIVX. And it was up at like 1050 not too long ago. I haven't ago. heard of this one. What is it? It's something about being able to do like the. It's I don't know. I've watched Welcome it. Welcome to the 2018 roadmap for Pivx. There are a staggering amount of updates, plans, developments, and more. I don't even know, quite frankly, what's more incredible. That I'm going to be presenting to you in just a bit. 15 of the planned 36 roadmap items today. Yeah, 36. Insane. I'm not going to talk about them. Or that we know that the Pivx developers will actually pull all this off in 2018. If you recall, in the original uh -huh. first episode that I did in 2017, what did we see? Rock steady, consistent delivery of roadmap items. Yeah, I like this. This is fantastic. This like guy's this well, guy's serious. Where he's at. That's pretty we're cool. This he staged so the background. Let's jump on it. He's talking, and he's saying, "Look at me. It's I'm confident because look, I have a track record now. Yeah. And here is now we're gonna go see what I don't even know what is yet. I already like this." This feature means that users, you, me, etc., oh, yeah, you will can put no your longer need in. to keep He's not 16. after each ZPIV seed. <laughs> yeah. It's a bonus. So, yeah. by backing up a ZPIV seed, which is similar to your private key, users will have a full backup of any ZPIV minted in the future, 
and be able to easily import ZPSC to a new so wallet, wallet and restore thus. Oh, they will in quarter one 2018. Well, it's coming. ZPIT Stakey. Or as we are yeah, doing, you're allowed to ZPOS. stake and uh, see, fact, so you make money off of holding it. Users will be able to stake ZPIV just like normal PIV and also earn higher rewards and maximize privacy and ease of use. With this proposal, new block reward system, ZPIV staking block rewards will be 50% larger than normal PIV staking rewards. Although PIVX already has orders of magnitude higher anonymity set sizes than most privacy coins and maturation time to prevent time attacks, ZPIV staking what do you think, will Gary? optimize about the privacy coins by ensuring ZPIV minting and spending. Well, I think I definitely think that that's the way to go. I mean, layers of privacy and security the whole that's the whole point. I was thinking about it and like. For the freedom of an individual, right? So you would want privacy coins, but guess who else wants the freedom to not be known who what transactions they make? A lot more than the public. You know what I mean? Yeah. Governments always thinking war spending and all that stuff. Like it's gonna be so hard to hide that now with decentralization where all that money goes, you know what I'm saying? And like they're gonna need a privacy coin. <laughs> they're gonna need some privacy coin. Well people are talking about Fed coin or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Fed or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well coins. you were talking you were talking about the petro coin in Venezuela. Oh yeah. And then the, the Russian the ruble coin that we're going to there's some other countries trying to do it too, man, and like you can see there's obvious now, benefits for users, them both. You'll be able to and you lessening bureaucracy while well, getting the same job done is huge. Cutting out the middlemen. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's jobs, so people, but it's crappy government the jobs that need to be replaced with innovation. There'll be no need to access websites or vote from the command line console anymore. There'll be more jobs that come up because of that innovation. If you get what I mean. Well, that's exactly right. You have to sustain through the crash and you build new, better. Straight from within the wallet, right on your laptop. Awesome. Automatic backup onto external storage devices. Currently, the wallet can only. I don't want to watch this anymore. Okay, yeah, no, it's boring. But hey, I like what this guy is doing. When I, you know, he's presenting his roadmap in a video for people that are already invested. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go back and watch the rest of it, but I don't want to watch the whole thing. Or maybe everybody does that. You know what I'm saying? But I haven't seen one yet like that. I haven't seen one like that either. So, and he was talking to me. He's an American dude. Yeah. Seemed like an okay dude. I, I don't follow the coin, so I don't know, but I like how in the very beginning he presented his track record of the past year. And it's that, I mean, that's how you, that's how you pick a coin, man. Is this the one that was up at $10? It was. Yeah. Wow. Aeon's falling straight off, but that's Binance effect. It, like it got listed on Binance right here, right here. Bam, <laughs> with the volume, and that's what's happened since. But it's funny they say that effect. If you looked at that, if you looked at that uh, chart, you could see where it was, and it shot way up, and then went down to close to where it was again. Yeah. I mean, it might be up still. So that's what I think is going to happen to Ray Blocks. And that's why I think Rayblox keeps going up. I'm not sure if it is today or not, but people are anticipating it dropping on Binance. And when it does, but I think I think Binance is just taking its time because so many people. It's Binance Coin or what, what do you mean? No, Rayblox is about oh, to is right, yeah, drop yeah, yeah, on yeah. Binance. That's what you said. I don't know what happened right here. It looked like it just dropped drastically. But I think it might be because all these people started buying it, hoping at the end of the month Binance was going to list it. And here, today, they've just well, yeah, but dropped it's not out them, of it. Man. People, the investors in these companies, a, a chunk of them, right, every single one, are just looking for a place to store cash temporarily, maybe make a buck and then pull out. And there's no loyalty to it. And with, it's just with the market. All these companies, right? All mm -hmm. the companies have taken drops this size right now it's yeah like it's 20 is the highest i mean that's really high like, everybody's still scared because of what happened you know how big of a drop it, we already experienced right. everybody's still scared so when it starts to drop yeah well, I know it's the, the biggest drop. dropper 20 is the biggest but that it's one of the biggest gainers though look mm -hmm. at look at its graphs you know what i'm saying like yep it's a everything i don't know i don't know it doesn't mean anything none of this means anything right now except for there's a lot of fear in the market and it might be justified fear because of all the manipulation we've been seeing. But I'm still betting February to March, 
we catch up to where we were in yeah, the first of the year. I agree. And so, you just hodl. I made some real bad calls. I'm thinking about hodling some of them <laughs> for the month rather than just selling out. Because I, I don't know. You either believe in the market or you don't. The, these are a whole lot of shit companies, but there's some good ones in there. Obviously, the blockchain's not going away. Yeah. So, like, people are scared. There's a lot of manipulation, but the market's going to grow, so whatever, so, you know. It's kind of weird how the time changes when you're playing with crypto, though. Like, for some reason, two weeks seem like an eternity. Oh, yeah. But when you look back, if somebody would have bought Bitcoin four years ago, just a hundred bucks in Bitcoin, they'd be unreal rich right now, you know? And so, got to think long term, too. Mm. In four years... Did you buy the, did you get a piece of the one that's big in four years? Because it's going to. Right. I actually was telling Four years you, is a hell of a hodl with these companies, though. Like, one year and then look. Are, did they meet their objectives? Just like dude was saying, did they meet their objectives? Are they standing ready for a new year? Is the market still growing? Yeah. Then maybe hold another year, but you gotta you gotta pick the ones you're gonna hold for the year. But if you if you just I mean obviously every year look up and make sure they're not like going out of business or not doing anything. Every quarter even obviously I mean, yeah. You know. But if you just took a hundred bucks of some of these coins like this dent one with three cents, and just put it on a wallet and forgot about it, and every quarter or whatever go back and look, it's just a hundred bucks, you know. It seems to me like. That would be the best way to do it. Even if you were, like, we're, when we were first talking, I feel like we almost should do it, and I'm down to do that, too. Start getting wallets and buying $25 worth of small coins, go in different exchanges and buy 25 bucks worth of small coins and just hang on to them. I think it might be something that would be fun to do. Yeah, you know what? Like, I mean, if we would have done it when we first heard about Dent, we'd we'd be up a lot, you know, and just hang on to them. That's who cares, right. if, they're, who cares right. if they're making money or not? It's just 25 bucks. When I was doing the plus one coin research and I interviewed their CEO, it was really weird because, like, they didn't do an ICO. Their website is complete shit. And they, I mean, did I like I actually liked them. I ended up liking the dude and the company. I actually have some trust in it. But <laughs> it's like the worst website you've ever seen. Yeah. They never had any ICO. There is no white paper. You know what I'm saying? And they only trade on Trade Satoshi. Have you heard about Trade yeah. Satoshi? Yeah. For a while, people thought the whole exchange was a sham or a <laughs> scam. But but it's not. It's real. You yeah. trade it people there. Are doing it, yeah. People are doing it. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's, like a, it's like Evercoin. Yeah. So you don't ever really... They take their portion, but you don't... In Trade Satoshi, you don't really leave Satoshis on their thing. They got some really obscure shit on there, man. Yeah, yeah. They got really obscure stuff on yeah. there. Look like... These people are all smiling. 25 bucks into a handful of picks on Trade Satoshi might be a moonshot. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if it did, though, I mean, that's how these people with these ICOs are making, you know, 7,000 yeah. times gains. Yeah. It's because they're buying in into ICOs and just putting money in, and then the next thing you know, they have tons of money. Mobile data marketplace. We're disrupting the mobile operator energy by creating an open marketplace for buying and selling in mobile data. Hmm. So what do you think, man? The, all these new blockchains coming out because Ethereum can't handle these these things that they want to do, like gaming. But what what else? There's a lot of different things that take just huge user bases and a lot of either graphics or infrastructure that can't be handled on a regular. Ethereum blockchain. Yeah, that's why Neo. Who's gonna win that fight? Like, how is that? There's, that's what everybody's doing. But how do you take one over the other? I like the idea of Tron's network getting locked in with casinos and games, but way more than that, obviously, with bikes and in China and social media mm -hmm. networks and everything can be up on Tron. But same with all of them, though, right? So why, so why Tron over the others? You know, except for that they have a foundation backing them, that kind of thing. You know, Justin Sun's a big name. Dude, the DevCon and Neo is going on right now. Neo DevCon. You want to go? Yeah, dude. Where is it? <laughs> San Francisco. Shit, man. Yeah, but how do we go? We should go. We do a write-up, dude, and you post the video of the fuck. You meet some people outside, and you go, hey, I'm, I'm Mike and C. Miracle with Crypto News. Just wanted to ask you a few questions with the Independent Republic. They'd probably love it. You know what I'm saying? Send that in to get it published all of a sudden. 
All of a sudden, you're the dude. Honestly, it would be cool if the publication sent us out places like, hey, you know, go mm -hmm. cover this. Give me a write-up. You know what I'm saying? And like, I'll pay you a little bit extra or something, you know. Yeah, give give money to, uh, I mean, you know, to get a hotel, to so be there both days, somehow get you in. Somehow get you in. I know, but right? Like, tickets. Who's going to be reading it, though? But in the end, like, you, and you do all that work and you put it up and it gets, like, 300 people to read it. That's what it costs to get in? 750 bucks. Man. Woo! We stand outside and sell pamphlets or something. <laughs> yeah, interview people coming out. <laughs> Hand out cards with the YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. Man, 750 bucks to get in. some serious stuff, man. That's some serious stuff. I'm supposed to moderate the thing for an ICO panel deal. It's 100 bucks just to get on the virtual. It's a virtual thing. you got to have 100 bucks to... That seems reasonable, though, at least. It's also free. I mean, it's a portion of it's free. You just tune into it. More about that coming up. But you can pay in for extra features, I guess, you know. I'm going to moderate a panel. Investor, cool. investor, investor confidence or investor uh, decisions or something like that. Wow, well, what the hell? I always thought this one was going to go to a dollar. I'm just kind of stoked. Loop ring, man. Yeah, See, it that's got listed cool. like right around here yeah. on Binance or something, and then it went way up. For like the they big, all did? For like the big they all pump did, and now right? it's come back. That was, that's the exact same time period we were looking yesterday at Olympus Labs that got dropped somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's it's, what they all look like. like that, you know, and right? it's funny because the the bubble graph in a for the dot com boom looks like this. It goes up, it comes down for a second, then it goes way up, it comes down, it goes up again, and then bam. That's the dot com boom bubble. It looks exactly like that. Yeah. But uh, trying to find, I mean, we talked about basic attention token. Yeah, no, no, you know, whatever. Down 10%. Dude, they're all down. Like, it's not, it's, nobody's exciting, but who's new, man? I want to learn something new. Ignis. All right, I don't know nothing about Ignis. Ha almost half a billion. Okay. They, got, they got 761 billion Ignis. Million. <laughs> Million. There's a bill, almost a Sorry, billion. Sorry, yeah, ignorance. million, right? Did I say billion? Yeah. I didn't mean to. Billion, million. Someone got mad at me at an article I wrote where I said billion, and they thought I meant million, and then, <laughs> and I was like, oh, they, you know what I mean? I had to go look into it, and it turned out that the editor of the place already went and switched it for him for complaining. And then when I reread it, I was right. No, I meant billion. They were wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, it's ridiculous. Editors get upset by is a take things down when comments get heavy. I don't know. Architecture that separates the network that processing and security <laughs> chain, known as the Ardor parent chain, from the transactional chains. These transactional chains, known as child chains, have their own native coin for all transactions and thus don't require their users to have parent chain coins. Being built on NXT technology, each child chain is pre-fitted with the features found on the NXT <laughs> blockchain, such as the ability to issue assets, Trade them on an asset exchange. Run We're not on the moon. Set conditional transaction. Issues Are we on the moon yet? Blockchain, blockchain blow. Solved. Oh, it's like Pepto Bismol on the blockchain. Yeah. Blockchain size as it gets used, thus making it more I get, resource intensive to run a full you know, to support the blockchain network. All of their blockchain. It's a blockchain. It's a blockchain. Yeah. blockchain. That's all they. That's how you know. It's like DNA inside your gut. Choices for when you're bloated. Organizations to address their blockchain. Okay, so it's a new blockchain. I, I didn't pay attention at all. What what are they, dude? Yeah, it's a new blockchain that tries to have different coins off of it. Okay, cool. What makes it better than the next one? So this is what I was talking about earlier. This is what everybody's doing. Why would why do you choose one over the other? They're all doing it. Which ones are gonna work? Or will it be a whole bunch of new ones? And like you put there's coins and blockchains everywhere, and who knows which one? There doesn't have to be one to to rule them all, maybe, you know what I mean? Mm hmm No, that's it, yeah. This is kind of like the NXT to Ardor. I don't know what that's supposed to mean either, but... But now we have to decide between 2018. the 2018. See, they've been around for a while. I want to know 
I don't know. Okay, if they've been around for a while, they have. Okay, so in 2013, huh? Token distribution implemented a proof of stake. Okay, their graphic installer was 2015. That's cool. Dynamic fees funding monitor Ardor public testnet launch that was in 2017 quarter one. It's been a year since the yeah. testnet was launched. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then the mainnet was actually launched in quarter, quarter four. four. And then this one's so they're ahead of Tron. Yeah. Resolve any issues discovered post launch and ensure stability. A pruning feature implemented on mainnet. Okay, so pruning features. Okay, well, so who's on it? I don't. I don't who's know. On it, so they have one. They have it. It's out. Their main net is launched. So who their partnerships? Who's in there? And what's the team look like? It is possible that fake tokens, similar name for the report, have also appeared in other areas of the wallet. Hmm. Is this their is this their website? All right. Well. There's an airdrop, huh? I was reading someone's post that was saying, like, they were laughing about the portion of their portfolio that was made up from all the different airdrops he had taken advantage of through the year. Yeah. <laughs> well, think about it. I mean, they were giving away, you know. Yeah, the thing for me is you just have to be on it all the time. You know what I'm saying? Constantly on it. And, like, and then retweeting these shitcoin tweets, dude, all the time and... It is a great idea. It's an easy way to make money. I'm just not on the phone that much or on the computer that much. I like to take the breaks from it all. But it's worth it if you can do it. What's the what's the blue line, man? It's what the market cap. It's market cap. Cool. Went way up. But they have so many of them. Yeah, maybe we missed that boat already. Yeah. 50 something cents, huh? This is another one that people have faith in, Nebulas. Okay, so what do you what do you heard? People have faith in it, huh? They have like a community that talks and says things. Yeah, it's true decentralization. This is your first blockchain it's a really important thing like it's funny because i really like poe in that when you watch it poe it's strong and they have some strong backing and some big names behind them and their community is growing but if you really like ever since december when i started covering them like their community is like non-existent they're late well on updating people <laughs> on stuff everybody finds out through second-hand and third-hand sources before Poe even comes out with official announcements, you know? <laughs> At least these people are going to the moon. I actually really like them. Yeah, like well, they're going that's it the right there, right? So Look, are they aliens the take the cows. That's the type of... At what point in the roadmap do the aliens take the cows? Soon, Soon. yeah. It's plus. It's coming right up. And then next thing, we're back on Earth or something? That's the release, the release and the main that's online is the cow being taken up to the moon that's excellent go cow go you can follow him gifto but this this one's big in japan or something where you can give the digital gifts i've said something about it before yeah loop ring too yo yo y yeah man uh yo yo man they unfortunately click it is it gonna go anywhere yeah hey man I really like the way this one might turn out to be your own, your own words, like a social media thing. It's it's mostly for, I think, for Chinese people or whatever, but this is all in English and, you know. You own your own words. Yeah. That's what yo-yo means. Well, this, they're creating their own, you know, <laughs> deal too. It's like Steam is what I understand. Yeah, it's I guess like it's going to be kind of like Steam. I suppose I don't. I don't think it's for us though. I I think it's really for a Chinese community. Like, at least at first, maybe. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure they have plans for it to go everywhere. But uh, no video or nothing. But hey, look, a nice starry. Is the moon in that picture? No. But the, but it is a galaxy. They're right on there. their way to somewhere. Yes. <laughs> oh look, and they like. They're totally anonymous. 
A pyramid scheme. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pyramid scheme. Good. Actually, that's good. That's so Illuminati. It's like the triangle with some Illuminati stuff. Yeah, for real. I haven't seen a pentagram yet. Well, <laughs> yeah, we closer. haven't looked hard. <laughs> And they got this. Oh, yeah, guys. they got their own shirts. Look, these are the guys we looked at this before. Chinese cabbage. Here, Liu Kuang is Chinese oh, cabbage. Oh, yeah. Cancer. Cancer. <laughs> Why have we looked at this before? It's... Because we thought about it, and we should have, when we thought about, thought about it at first, we should have uh, probably jumped on it. But they've been tanking since I bought. Look but at this everybody's dude. tanking, so whatever. The bottom architect. Star, 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 star. Bottom architect, and he's faded out. I like that. I like all this. I, li I like that some of them were smiling. Yeah, look. They dude. look like they're happy. And they got this Russian guy. Around. Go down, go down. This Roman Trenenko, yeah. Russian programmer. It's cool, man. Like, Fluent in five languages. That's rad. Yeah. Work for Alibaba. He's the he's the advisor now on there. Yeah, work for Alibaba. That's right. And this guy is new, I think, up on the top left. IP realizations, quite a lot of research. <laughs> That's a sentence. <laughs> Demo website on the line. On the line. On the line with the bells and whistles. Open the test net. Officially released Yao Yao main network. Yeah. And creation block. Cool. So they're following their, their map On up. the world's largest exchange. But the last system. thing that they have there on the world's largest exchange is the last thing they put up. And that's December. And now it's going to be February. And... I don't want to know afterward what's coming, but I'm sure they have a roadmap I can look up, right? Where's the... Uh, that is their roadmap. There was some... If you get... You know, they have a little bit of Twitter stuff on there, and they, they're minimally active, so it's not, like, going away. It's pretty cool, though. No, it's cool. It's a good idea, I think. So you can upvote people on... It's like Do Dogecoin Extreme or something. It's try, You know? Like, it's not trying to be a joke, but... It's like Steam it for all of the platforms already in use and give people money for their content. Yeah, I think that's a big idea. Everybody's going to be doing it on the new social media things that are happening, you know what I'm saying? And like, yeah. I'm not trying to say that yo Yao is going to be the new Facebook, but the, is it is it going to be used by millions of people in China and maybe expand outward? Yeah, yeah. it is. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's only 20 cents right now, so yeah. I'm late. I mean... I got in. Uh, oh, ten cent. It's lost a lot since I bought. <laughs> this is a, if I'm not mistaken, this is a Chinese gaming company. Ten cent is. I can't click on that for some reason. Yeah, these are all their partners, huh? I can't click on ten cent though. Oh, okay. Five hundred. Loop ring. It's yeah. In there. Yeah. No, they were saying they're using a. Uh, well, I, I don't know enough about it to really be able to hit their white paper real quick. Or scroll down a little bit. That's no this use. is the same. What the heck? Oh, it's. I have to download it. I oh, like, well, no, yeah. It doesn't matter. Yo, yo, I, I think it's uh, a good buy. Yeah, but this is this is nebulous, but yeah. Right. See if there's anything good in Steam on cryptocurrency. A cryptocurrency girls band in Japan. Add a girls. No video. What is that? Is that a sign right there? Is that some Illuminati stuff? Look at all this. It is, isn't it? This stuff. The Bitcoin on the forehead. They're in it. They're going to do good. <laughs> there you go far. <laughs> Cryptocurrency girls band. Man, I, w I wish I was on Steam right now. I want to retweet that. That's funny. Or retweet it. Re-Steam it. I think that games, social media networks... Oh, man, there's a third one that I think is going to go escape me right now. But those are the ones that I'm looking at. These ones with, jeez, they're still doing it. Every time there's a picture of them, they've got that up, huh? I asked for a video. I said it was supposed to be a video. I'm stupid. 
Although I might be wrong, they might just think that's cool, or there might be something else about that symbol I don't know about. Some people thought my article was hate speech, so. <laughs> yeah, you never know. <laughs> you just never know. Bitcoin Babes. Is, well, are you going to watch the video? I'm trying to see if it has a video. This is what it's all about. This is crypto and coffee's <laughs> the best of. Man. Dude, come on, on, play. Oh, all this technology. <laughs> What the heck? It's dude. frozen. Look, that will go down to Bitcoin Babes right there. There we go. So finally, some YouTube. What is it on? Is this on YouTube? Yeah, the news shows. Ah. Oh no. Is this what we picked? This is just yeah. gonna be the words of somebody's thing. They did this to one of my to my Dogecoin article, right? They took it, somebody took it, and uh -huh. put it up with these ridiculous pictures. And, well, not these pictures, but some ridiculous pictures. And... That stuff's lame. Weird. Why can't I find a video of them doing it? Right there, go down. The Japanese is right there, right below that. Oh, this one's long. Don't stand in a park with a sign. Who does that? Oh Explain my your God. business with a high quality. All right, here we go. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They each play a character representing a crypto currency. Uh, people sing along. I'm the leader. I represent Bitcoin Cash. Oh, the leader represents Bitcoin Cash. Oh, that's big. Oh, they're doing it again. They warn against fraudsters and urges people to ensure what? The girls are paid in Bitcoin and merchandise is only sold in virtual currency. Oh, Bitcoin's recognized as legal tender there. Yeah, that's cool, man. I don't. That's awesome. That is awesome. That's what my band's going to do for now on. We only accept crypto. Yeah, we only accept crypto. Or ha, ha, ha. Buy my stickers. Oh, that's cool. I don't know how... I don't know how good they're. I don't, I'm not willing to invest in them based on that video, but it's probably going to explode. Oh, Jesus. 48 cents. What is it? Oh, my God. Oh, man. another. Did it just happen? Yeah. Since we've been talking? I just lost another, like, $100. million? Dollars? Yeah. Another million dollars, Gary. Oh, wow. Well, don't even look up Tron, because I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, I do. Look up Tron, man. If it dropped, is the whole market <laughs> dropped? Look up... Can I flag this? Over half of Bitcoin transactions are used for illegal purposes. Yeah, right. That's hilarious. Well, it, it, there might be some, you know, it turns out we're breaking the law all the time. We don't even know it. There's so many laws written. Down. Oh, yeah. You so, yeah, I mean? you're just illegal by using it. All right. All transactions for me, Bitcoin are illegal to somebody. I like that, one. that country. I like this one. I was wondering what was actually going to happen. The PC gamers are having problems because the GPUs are what they're mining Bitcoin with, and so people are having trouble even getting their hands on good graphics. They're expensive. Yeah, it's gone yeah. way up. Yeah, oh, well, way up, man. That's that's funny, dude. Now no one can game. Although that's just it, though. So what's the answer to that? That's just, I'm glad you're bringing that up, Gary. Like, what's the answer to that? Like cloud gaming without having to have expensive equipment. Where you rent servers that have all this shit. You might still need yeah, cloud gaming. Yeah, I don't know how it works for the, if you need your own graphics processor still or whatever that's in a certain... St but, but the whole point of not needing to upgrade your equipment anymore because you can just, <laughs> in a decentralized way, use servers that are out there running it up for you. So who was it? PlayKey. PlayKey is the cloud gaming. I was looking up some other cloud-based crypto stuff, man. I just think that's a... That's another thing in the future. Anything, uh, the cloud-based blockchain stuff, the gaming stuff, and the social media stuff, and then where they all join mm -hmm. up into the platforms that join them. That's, that's it. 
This is what people post. But, ow, eight minutes ago. Thanks for, for the update. Here's 8.50. Let's do the, the what we are. That's pretty cool. I'll actually follow him. The Pittsburgh hodler. <laughs> That is cool. You, you find cool people, man. Pittsburgh Hodler, that's a cool name. I like that. Is that Jim Croce? Yeah. I think that's Jim Croce, yeah. yeah. With this, like the uh, record album open up. I don't know it. I don't know the album. I mean, I probably know the album. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know. So I haven't seen the records. I heard, I heard a song by some, a blind blues player from the early... It was really cool, dude. Yeah. I should have remembered his name and played it on here. But. A blind guitar playing. Blues. I know who you're talking about, man. I can't think of his name. It was like blind something something is his name. <laughs> exactly. Blind is his name, right. Is it really? On um, Wow. Look. Really? It's Tank and do the whole market school. This is it, guys! Sign up! Sign up! <laughs> buy, buy, buy the dip. Hey, Gary Fire's live. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What were we going to look at right now? Look at Bitcoin? Well, yeah, on Coin. Coinbase? Mm -hmm. I'm going to look it up. Hold on. I got a Coinbase on my phone. All right, Bitcoin's at $9,917.70 on <laughs> Bitcoin Cash just tanked. What's it at? Well, I mean, 10% like everybody else. It's at $1,484. Ethereum's struggling, trying to hold 1000 Litecoin's at one sixty three. <laughs> what just happened now? Dude, Chinese New Year, Happy February, everybody! The last one. Where are they all going to? What, what, what the hell? What do you mean, man? Poland. Oh, woo! Get Fifty pulled. billion this second. You know, all that pump in. I was hoping it was gonna be something else, but we gotta get through the New Year. A lot of gains are made last year, man. A lot of gains, and like this New Year thing goes on for a month or so. You know what I mean? And like, but. What then happens? What then happens, Gary, traditionally for the rest of February? When you, you look it win. up. You win. Yeah. We just probably should all, you know, I'm the just only reason I didn't, right now. Right, I can't do anything hodl, else. Just hoddle. You could have tethered. Everybody could tether all their gains at the end of, at the, during the first tethered week of January. Tether the Ponzi scheme out on you. Well, that's the worst the problem, <laughs> right? Like, then tether a Ponzi scheme look out on you. Look at this, under a dollar for NEM. Oh, my goodness. These are, dude, if this goes down under 10, that like I might actually sell and buy that. I think that's the real. I think maybe like the other maybe dude tether probably is a Ponzi scheme and probably will Ponzi scheme out one day. But what I think that a lot of the media push against it against tether right now and it's all out right. Everybody wants to talk about how it's just like happened to BitConnect, <laughs> but uh, they don't want you putting all your money into tether. They want you to stay invested in their companies and like of course they're gonna push. The media is gonna push. For you not to tether and to be scared of tether, and it probably is gonna pop these came out. But I know right now that if I had used tether, <laughs> I'd have a lot more money than I do right now. You know what I mean? So funny. Listening to the media is a funny thing. You guys, you gotta read the Independent Republic for if you want to know what Warren Buffett's gonna buy. <laughs> Hemp coin. Yeah, if you want to figure out. <laughs> if you want to know. Why Ripple's gonna have a trillion dollar market cap? You need to go to the Independent Republic. The best news, the best news, and if you want to hear about how Ripple can save you from UFOs, you can only read that at the Independent Republic. Oh, look what they're doing! I want if they get that, that'd be awesome. If Fun gets the gambling license in the UK. Fun gets the gambling license in the UK. You know, I've been looking at fun a lot. There's no way that a casino based coin's gonna do bad. It's just when are you gonna buy in? When are you gonna buy in? You know what I mean? Like this is what we need to do. 
need to get better at that. Oh yeah, man. Gary, we gotta use the full tools and system. But that's why, you know, what's funny is, well, there's no reason to wait while we can do this, but when those financial tools come out for you to download apps that handle your stuff, you know, and you can actually use it to your advantage and all these things and like, Dude, I wouldn't need to use Tether if I could have just, I don't know. $100 billion swing in a day, pretty much, man. I mean, Yeah, and, and maybe not done? Like, maybe still dropping? Like, God damn it. Like, when was this? Yesterday, it, was, it bounced it off 600. 600. Right. It bounced off of it, and now we're bouncing off of 500. Even, we're even, no, we're down lower. It hasn't showed it yet. Yeah, it hasn't updated yet. That's a huge drop. Ah, panic, panic, panic. 505. When's the last time I hit 505? Panic. Hit, uh, so <laughs> <laughs> hit, hit uh, one month, man. Hit one month there. Let me see that. Man, they're not showing it. That last drop, dude, is big. And it's not on the map yet. It's, so it's going to go all the way down that line right there. Yeah. And it might continue. This might have just been a... Dead cat bounce this whole time. After it hit 450 and bounced back up, that's just some dead cat stuff. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. What do you mean? Dude, it's going to drop all the way back down to 450. You think it'll find support here? Nah, I think it's going to find support right there. Well, the yeah, I think so too. It finds support there a lot. I'm just trying to scare everybody. Sell! Sell that way. You have a chance. The market's done. You can, this is the end of crypto. <laughs> Derp. Let's find out, Bitcoin though. We're going to find out in the next few minutes, man. What, like, you know what I mean? Is it going to find support at 500 or 495 or 490, somewhere right there? You know what I'm saying? Or is it going to find support at 450? Uh, 506. No. Up a billion. Yeah. Just found support. <laughs> Hell yeah. Any other things worth looking at? 826. I said, what did I say? If I, look look that, up that Chinese New Year. So is it much. really right now? What is, what is Chinese New Year? The 16th of February. Oh, okay, so not even coming yet. Dang it. <laughs> I'm not really that worried about it. Look that. at V Chain down under six. What the hell just happened? That's insane. What just happened? This exact same thing on all of them. Where's Tether? Well, does it show? Does it show how much volume it has in comparison to anything? Or can there even look? I don't know what it was at, so I can't compare it. No, you can't. For some reason, on Binance, look to see what it. Well, how is its volume though? I mean, I can't look at the. Maybe I can over well, here. Well, it says right there, the Bitcoin to Tether volume, right? Oh well, yeah. I'll add or all this up. The, the volume out here. You know, but it's up four nine percent. Not even a quarter though. But damn. Well, it's only gonna it's gonna track the dollar. So looking at its price isn't really. I, I guess its volume. You know what I'm saying? Would, would yeah, you be can more see down here. It's not going crazy. Not going crazy, huh? People just pulling out of the market, uh, tethering over here. Yeah, tether still counts towards the market cap, so. No, right. So if if the market cap goes down, it's not in tether. No, of course, but some people could be still tethering out of fear of everybody dropping and pulling. So even though the market cap's going down, tether could still be rising in volume as people that are scared tether. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're not sure. pulling, but they're still tethering. It didn't look like it. But it didn't look like it. That's right. People are just pulling this. This is just pulling. Dash, down. We're going to see some real lows. Ouch, dude. Just ouch. Wow. Stellar went up just a second ago. <laughs> Whatever. I don't understand. Anyways, you good for the day, man? I'm good, man. It was good enough. Thanks for hanging out with us while we drank crypto, or we drank crypto and coffee. talked about coffee. Right? <laughs> At any rate, have a good day.